The cameras are fixed to one man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon, and we've got Premier League action coming right up. What a game this ought to be, Lee. Cheers Derek, yes, excited about this one, interesting matchup for me, we should get a good game here hopefully. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, I hope these defenders have read the player notes for this game. They're up against the goal machine. They need all their focus and attention to stop him scoring today. Watch this space. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. The emphasis perhaps on keeping things tight at the back, Lee. Yeah, I really like the system. Very fluid look about it. It can be five at the back when you haven't got the ball, but those wing backs can push into midfield to make a 3 4 3 formation. The width supplied by the wingers to a lone striker. Pedri. Well, it sounds like a penalty has been awarded in one of the other matches. What can you tell us, Alan McAnally? It's a penalty for Manchester City. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Here he comes. He's blasted it miles over. What a poor penalty. Five minutes played. It remains nil-nil. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. What a terrific position to be in, Lee. Oh, it's brilliant. I remember back in 98, we won it with two to go and then got smashed by Liverpool 4-0 at Anfield. Safe to say we weren't on our best that night, Derek. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. But he's gone short with it. A go. That could well be his final warning. He's got to tread carefully from here on in. Well, he has, yeah, but it's quite easy for the referees to throw yellow cards around willy-nilly, but not on this occasion. And in it goes, as coolly as you like, never in any doubt from the spot. Well, as we see it again, I can tell you his nerves will have been jangling, but he kept his nerve. Really good penalty. A chance to revisit the goal. So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? Chelsea get the decision from the referee. It comes to absolutely nothing. Gaia. And winning it back. Well, he likes to run at them. Cross could be useful. And a goal! The quick one, too! And they've turned this game! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back, and from there, the soft cushion volley is an absolute dream. I love this goal. So, 2-0 now.
Godfrey. Jules Kunde on the ball. Werner. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Well, from a seemingly impossible angle, not far away at all. Well, he thought he had a decent chance to score. I'm not sure his teammates did, though, but a little bit unlucky. Well, I believe there's been a goal in the Liverpool game, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Liverpool. 26 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. So a throw in to Chelsea. Havertz. Well, they no longer have the ball. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Defenders need to cover. A real opening now. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Gaia. Kai Havertz. Oh, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Havertz. Not to put too fine a point on it. They're in a wretched situation. What can they do to rectify this lead? Well, Chelsea have just got to change things up. They really have. It's simply not working. Their game plan's all over the place. Take a chance. Try and get a goal before half-time. It could change the complexion of this game. Well, they just let his opponent fly by. And up for grabs off the keeper. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Alert defending. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Intercepted it. And the whistle is sounded for... So back in business, second half underway, and Chelsea know they really need to lift themselves. Shaloba. Pulisic now. Possession lost. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. And they keep the ball, advantage Chelsea. Have they given him too much space? keep it well just a quick reminder more live football coming your way here on EA TV I think you might enjoy this game yeah that looks a great matchup doesn't it looking forward to some fast flowing football there hit but couldn't keep it down shallow bar Ziesch Werner with it now 
And possession lost, intercepted. Well, beaten easily here. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? And he takes it on. Simple catch, really. Gaia. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Chelsea taking on Liverpool. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. And news of a goal coming through from the Etihad Stadium. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a second goal for Sheffield United. 69 minutes played. 2-2. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Couldn't keep it. Well, it could be on for him here. The net is staring him in the face. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. 15 minutes remaining. Timo Werner. Pulisic. And Pulisic has it. Good tackle. This looks threatening. Will he find the net? Opportunity missed. There's been a goal in the Manchester City match. Let's hear about it from Alan. It's a third goal for Manchester City. Six minutes remain. 3 2. Alan McAdally keeping us right up to date. And a wonderful save. All types of save keepers make, but that's really important. Look how close the striker gets. And a crucial intervention inside the box. And given that we're in the second half, and it has got a bit ugly from the scoreline point of view, what positives can you find, Lee? I suggest those Chelsea players get some earplugs when they go in that dressing room. The coach is going to go ballistic. Lack of intensity. Is it going to be? And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. And there goes the final whistle and the home fan. your question thank you for your time